so hopefully we can get started pretty soon. Uh, what I'm going to do is be playing a game against the uh, lowest setting of the Lee Shogi engine on, uh, I think it's Yaneura O. And I, I want to, um, it should hopefully be uh, not too heavy uh, a lift, but I, I wanted to explain my, my thinking process and calculations as I go through the game. And then afterwards, we can uh, do a consultation game if there are enough viewers, if there are enough viewers here. So hopefully uh, the people will tune in and uh, participate and then we can uh, make it happen. All right. So let's, um, here, so I click here. And then I'm going to do um, 180 minutes per side just to make sure that I have enough time uh, to do all my calculations. Okay, the Yanurao is at level one. Okay, I, I'm i forgetting what uh, what setting that Ohai there had it on. I think it was one. Um, I guess I can ask him again later, but uh, I will I will try that and you know, since it's 180 80 minutes, um, you know, the, it's just to make sure I have enough time and, and I'm not rushing my thinking. So I uh, we certainly won't be here for three hours or six hours. Okay. So, and then I'll set it for um, random. Okay. So I, I think that's, that's it. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's try this. Okay. All right. So let me uh, let me see if my okay that is showing up. So I have to um, move this thing over so you guys can see the, the time. Okay. So here we go. So I guess. I guess I have the first, oh, no, he has the first move. All right. All right, so an edge pawn push. I think I will just, um, I'm just gonna push, um, play an e-bisha here, uh, and push like here. All right, and then now I will, um, I don't want to commit this this gold on four one yet uh, because I don't know whether or not he's gonna uh, swing his rook over. Uh, so I'll develop some other piece. Okay, um, pushing here is an option. Also, doing this or uh, opening this. Uh, this long diagonal. Any of those are okay. Um, I think I will just push push with the rook pawn again. Uh, threaten to um, push and trade it, trade it off. Okay, so I will do that. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't defend against it. He uh, wastes more time by playing the pawn up, on the edge up again. Uh, usually, instead of that, what you see is this bishop uh, coming up to defend against it. Uh, either that or the gold will come up. Okay, so there's no danger of um, just exchanging it. So I'll do that. And then I have to recapture with the rook, otherwise he will uh, defend like that. Okay. So right now I threaten to promote the rook here. 
or even uh, even taking this pawn is okay. Uh, but then again, he I guess he can he's gonna be doing this next. Hmm, okay. I think the the best thing to do is promote here. If he pushes again, then um, threatening this, um, what I will do is move this gold up here just to defend the head of the bishop. Okay. Um, Okay, so let me clear this. Or after promoting, if he moves the, the gold up, I will just retreat the uh, I'll retreat the dragons on one of the squares. Or actually, I could actually I could take this. Yeah, so that that's what I'll do. Okay. So I will. Nope. I will promote here. Okay, I, I'll just take that. Okay, and now I can, I can either um, take the pawn here, or I'll pull the rook back, you know, somewhere along this along this file. You know, there's there's no danger in just taking the pawn. Um, excuse me. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, already the position is good, so. Um, I probably don't need to stress too much about this decision. I think I will... Uh okay, um... I, I think maybe... Maybe I'm just going to move the, the rook back uh, to here. Uh, the reason why I didn't put it here or here is because, um, or here is because sometimes, uh, occasionally, um, this thing comes out with tempo. Of course, it wouldn't be able to do that now because the knight would be hanging. But um, yeah, okay. So he threatens uh, this next. Hey, hi, hi. Okay, yeah, take your time. Okay, so just a sensible move would be to, um, you know, I could actually uh, move the thing back, change my mind. Uh, I think, I think I'll just defend, defend it. You know, I do have a threat of dropping the pawn here. That you'll have to defend defend again. So I, I can take here. Okay, so right now the rook does work horizontally, so I think if I drop the pawn here, I might be able to drop a pawn here. Uh, but then I drop a pawn here. Uh, the the rook will have to go back, and then I can capture. I can, and then I can capture here. 
Are you guys following that? So right now, thanks to this edge pawn being pushed up, um, if he drops the pawn here, I will always be able to tempo off of the rook by um, moving it up, up there. But he does have two pawns in hand, so uh, anyway, let's let's look at this again. Okay. I, I wish there was an easier way to clear the arrows. It is uh, so ever cumbersome. Okay, so I dropped the pawn on two four, excuse me, eight six. Uh, if he does this, and I promote, he has two pawns in hand, so he can drop here. I take, and then he drops here. I move the dragon back, probably here, and then he takes the token like that. Uh, does anyone know how I can erase arrows like really efficiently? Ah, oh, okay, okay, yes, you say that at the same time every stream. Okay, yeah. Alright, so I at least I'm I know I'm not missing something. Okay, so um from those calculations we can tell that um two four uh, at eight six pawn doesn't uh it looks strong but um because he has pawns in hand, he can cut the rook off, with, cut my dragon off the temple. You hear uh, by clicking on an empty square. Clicking on an empty square. Clicking on an empty square. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Uh, so another thing I can do is drop the pawn here. He moves his rook back, probably here, in order to like defend this square. Uh, and then if I drop here, he can. Um, he can cut my rook off again by dropping it here. Ah, good. Hmm. Okay, what else? Right here. Okay, uh, wait, um, sometimes I have a bad habit of recalculating stuff, but wait, let, let's just look at the thing again. Here, 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 here. Uh, here. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is just defended. Okay, yeah, that, okay, um, all right, so um, I eliminated that. So um, what else can I do? I mean, if I if I do this, then he's just going to promote. Um, yeah, I think uh, a safe thing to do is just drop the pawn here. Um, you know, I already have I do have three pawns in hand, and I could just drop it. There'd be absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, so I think, um, I, I think that's what I'm going to do, just drop the on here. Okay, ah, it did do this. Okay, so it wants to protect this square. Okay, so now I should probably, um, I could probably just develop a piece somewhere, um, probably the silver, the right side silver. Hi. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, yeah, I think I will, uh, I, I think I'm just gonna um, use a silver here. Uh, if you ever, if you ever blocks on this square again, um, yeah, I might be able to put pressure on it, although he's gonna be able to get this knight out to defend it. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, three seven or oh, well, seven two silver is um, a pretty uh, non-committal move. It's a, just a really good developing move, so it could also make sense just to play it. Um, yeah, uh, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, another. Another one is this. I really do not know which one's better. Both of them are, are natural moves. Uh, so I will... Uh, you could basically just flip a coin, coin with this. But I... Hmm. Again, uh, Probably not a decision that I, I need to stress over. So I will, um, I'm going to actually move the thing straight up here. Okay, so I'm up, I'm up a pawn, plus I promoted my rook. So everything's going smoothly so far. So he plays this. Uh, sometimes, um, if if I don't do this, then I'll, they'll play this. Although, in order to uh, discourage um, this side from pushing up. Uh, on the other hand, if if he does push this uh, this pawn forward again, it it will block off the rook, and I'll be able to drop the pawn there, and there'll be no stopping it promoting next. Mm. You know, I, I can open up the, the diagonal. Right here, that's natural. But it, on the other hand, it can also allow the exchange of bishops. And right now, this bishop is a target, so it also makes sense not to open it. Um, because after this is open, the bishops can be exchanged and the target disappears. Oh, by the way, how are you guys doing today? If you guys are still here. Oh, oh hey. Uh, yeah, thank you for that uh, subscription. That's very um, kind of you. Is that is last week your review? Yeah. Yep. Oh, much appreciated. Uh, never expected. Okay. Hmm. So you know what? I think I'm going to um. You know, just to be a little, little tricky, I think that he drops, drops a pawn, takes, takes, and you basically just let him. You can just let him take it, and then you you end up getting tempo off of the rook. Um, or you could do that. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm just doing calculation exercise with everyone. Uh, and again, this is, um, you know, since it's a good position, I don't, I don't need to stress over this decision. Okay, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna play it. 
like this. Um, maybe the silver of the night can come up like that. Okay, he uh, dropped the pawn here. Uh, how are things going in Brazil? Okay. So, so the threat is to just take here. Uh, if I take it with the bishop, um, you know, let's do that. Or if I um, if I take take it like this, then um, you know, ideally it it does hit the rook. Uh, then he slides over. And I, I, I could defend the pawn. Um, takes, take, takes. Uh, because if the rook goes back here, then I, I drop the pawn here. But then he, the bishop comes up here and it temples off of the rook. Uh, the pawn, my own pawn, will be blocking my dragon. Okay. Yeah. So many arrows. I, I mustn't. I mustn't get confused. And then I could. I guess I could move this thing up and then threaten here. I don't know. That or that. You know the the very safe and sound thing to do is just uh, just recapture it with the lance. Uh, he pretty much doesn't have anything, I think. So here takes takes uh, pawn drop uh, takes silver up. Um, Rook is forced to move back. I drop here. He drops here. Uh, silver goes up. Attacks the rook. And then um, I guess he can go back here. I'll push up again. Geez, I'm kind of losing track about. Um, kind of losing track where pieces are because of all these arrows but I am I am doing it for the benefit of the viewers so I will make that sacrifice just not over the board okay. so you know what um, the, the sound thing to do is uh, just take the pawn and then see what he does like that uh, you know, if it's at some point, if the rook uh, vacates a square, uh, sometimes there's uh, ideas like that to attack this. But right now, the rook is blocking, uh, and he did that. Okay. So remember that variation that I calculated before. That um, the reason why the rook um, why the rook is um, trying to defend this way. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, but you know this is um, uh, this is a game played with my account, so um, please no backseating for now. I, I will be playing a consultation game afterwards. Um, so um, anyway, yeah, I'm I'm sorry to um, if you guys came in late. I was explaining this. Okay. So yeah, no no backseating for this game. Uh, the next game I will uh, log in to a to a um, anonymous account and then we can play um, consultation games and you guys can comment to your heart's content. Okay. All right. So right now this uh, rook is being blocked by its own pawn. I I mentioned that uh, previously. So what do we have? He only has a pawn in hand. So Remember, we dropped the pawn here, right? Okay, so we can do that now. 
And then this is a dangling pawn. And then now I can promote it here next. Okay, silver up. Okay. So I will just win my material by promoting the pawn here. There's a fork on these two pieces. Um, yeah, he is. I was just going to say he is going to play this to um, the temple off of my dragon. Um, and then I just move some piece to defend it. Either that or uh, I could also um, temple off of the uh, off of this bishop by going here. Uh, he takes here, and then I capture here. That would probably be the um, a pretty clear way to um, like break break into the camp uh, rather than just blocking it. Um, so you see here, if I don't, you know, sometimes people are concerned about giving the opponent stuff, but then you also have to ask yourself, what do you get? And if you can get more than you give up, then, you know, it's a worthwhile trade. So that variation I showed is such a trade, but there's also an approach where you don't want to give the opponent anything at all, and you just want to hang on to everything. Um, if you're going to do that kind of approach, there's, there's two different moves. One is to um, move the knight up, the other is to move the silver up. And then leaving, after, so after defending, you end up leaving the uh, opponent to deal with this uh, with this situation in, uh, you know, on this side of the board. So he he either moves or gives up the gold, and then um, maybe you can either uh, either drop the pawn here or do something like that, just to clear the way for the for the dragon. Yeah. Uh, another possible move is to take here and, and get two um, pieces for the uh, for the dragon, but you know there's absolutely no reason to uh, to do that. You might want to do it in other situations, but you know here um, it is an engine that we're playing against, that I'm playing against, and so you know I keep that in the back of my mind too because you know you don't want. Uh, you don't want unexpected things to happen. So I do have like my prophylaxis um, thinking on right now because I don't want to look like really stupid. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go with the, um, so the positive thinking variation. I am going to give him something in order to get more like this. Okay. Okay, so as expected, he took the lance, and then now I can take the gold like this. Okay, so now you notice um, the right hand flank of. Well, the left-hand flank of the opponent, so up here, is very, very weak. So my my dragon can um, can infiltrate. Uh, my king is still um, my king is still very, very safe. Uh, maybe the opponent might have ideas of like dropping a pawn here, but. You know, the thing is so slow, it's like, you know, no big deal. You can even uh, jump the knight up if needed, or or even sacrifice it. There's, at this point, my advantage is so large that, you know, I have options. And it's always nice to have options. Okay, so I will, um, I think I'm going to invade here. And then he's going to have to do something with the silver. If he moves the silver, then uh, these two miners will end up dropping. Um, if he moves the king up, I can exploit the 
pin if he does this maybe I can drop the gold here uh, and then everything's going to fall apart or uh, if he moves here then you know I could drop the gold there and then just win win everything Oh, and just incidentally, this will probably never come up. But if I ever get the lance, uh, I can drop it here and then trap his rook. Yep, always nice to have options. So I will do this here. Okay, so the king did go up there. Now I can exploit the pin. In order, so if I'm thinking pro, like prophylaxis thinking, so have you guys heard of that term before? Prophylaxis. It has to do with, um, it's a medical term. Yes, very, very big term in chess, that's correct. Um, Prophylaxis means uh, pr uh, prevention. So a prophylaxis move or prevention moves. So in doing that, you look at what the opponent uh, wants to do, and then you do something to counter it. So ideally, um, what you want to do is, uh, if you are going to do this, do it as actively as possible. Uh, in really old... Um, uh, chess manuals, uh, prophylaxis was used mostly in a defensive sense, but nowadays it's been, um, it's used slightly different and it has, it also includes, um, you know, a active things that, that cut out your opponent's play. Losing a friend move. Hmm. Okay, I, I don't quite understand that, but maybe we can see afterwards. Um, so, in, in order to get uh, get this horse into play, um, this next is going to be a um, what he's probably going to play. So, one of the things you can do against it is, um, you know, just block the guy. You see, you're blocking this horse, and you're also threatening to do something like this at, at some point. So this would be one of those prophylaxis moves that's also very positive. But do we even need to do that? Um, you know, maybe it's not going to matter, right? And maybe the opponent is pretty close to being checkmated. And what I mean by that is I explained that... Uh, Silver is being pinned, so moves like this or here uh, make some sense. Okay, if I drop it on two three, he can nebari by dropping the dropping the lance here. So, but what happens if I drop the gold here instead? Then, then he doesn't have that defensive. He doesn't have that. The defensive resource. Also the gold is going to actually be really good here because then I threaten mate here and then I move the gold over. Oh wow, that, that works perfectly. Yeah. He, he's not going to even, by being direct, he's not going to even be, uh, he's not even going to have time to do this thing. So after I drop here, maybe he's, he's probably gonna um like push push the pawn so you can escape here and then we'll have uh, other problems to figure out so um you know I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna drop the uh, gold here Okay, so instead of pushing the pawn, he he avoids, he does a quick escape. 
All right. So now, now he does, he does have this idea. You know, I don't, I guess I could take this immediately too. Uh, because it's a check and he will have, he'll be forced to drop the, the lance. Okay, so take it here. He drops the lance here. Uh, he can't, he can't go back because of uh, Maid. So take here. He drops the lance here. And then I could continue on my mating attack by doing this and then he'll either have to quick escape again or maybe like push the pawn hmm. uh, another way to threaten mate is to uh, take here which might actually oh, let me clear that out. take here and then I'll be threatening mate by doing a discover check so take here, uh, the king moves or does a pawn push probably, um, maybe here, and then I can take here, and then I threaten to, uh, you know, I get my dragon off of this, off of this diagonal, and also threaten to drop the knight on the square. Yeah, sometimes um, doing checks, um, it's better not to do a check. And that might be the case in this. I can't tell for sure. But anyway, I, I think I, I should probably just settle on this. Okay, so I will I'll take here. And by the way, if he does this, um, I can still do the this because the um, the gold will be um, protecting the uh, dragon during the check. Okay, so the king did go here. Okay, so now I guess I can just take the, the knight and then threaten here again. I guess if I do that, he might move the horse here just to get that, that horse into play and defend against a threat. Uh, another thing I can do is take this lance here and then, you know, I mentioned this threat before, right? Yeah, so options. Both of them look good and, you know, I, I don't know what's better, but, you know, Or we can uh, do the, the prophylaxis idea and then just move this thing up here. Trap the, uh, trap the horse. You know, I, I think that's what I'm going to do just to uh, eliminate his play. Uh, in order for him to get it out, he's going to have to do like this and this. And if I really wanted to um, trap it, I guess I could even do this. Drop the pawn here. Okay, so I I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or I could I guess I could move the silver up too. Oh, but then maybe he drops the pawn here. I mean it's it's still winning for me, but uh, you know I think. I think it's more more straightforward just to move the knight out, and uh, leave him with his his problems. Yeah, I th I think I will. I will do that. So here. Oh, okay. I I overlook this. Okay, so he threatens here. I mean, it shouldn't be a big deal. I could probably even ignore it. Uh, I could definitely just take it with the dragon and, you know, kill off any any silly um, ideas you might have. 
but um, let's let's try to be let's try to be accurate. Uh, this this does come with a threat. I'll drop in here. It promotes here. Drop here. Uh, the king goes here uh, because if here, then I just take the take the gold. So the king will have to run to um, seven three. And then I, I guess I could just take the gold. Uh, if he takes here, um, you know, simplest is just to just to recapture, and the play kind of dries. This play should kind of dry up. Uh, although he can do that. You know, I should have enough to defend. Okay. I don't know. Do you do you want to just? Do I just want to be sadistic and just take the take the pawn? I mean, that's that's a bit of a. You know, it's kind of unusually, I mean, it's kind of unnecessarily, um, I don't know, you know, it's one of those things. It's, uh, I guess if you're not confident in your calculation, you could just take it. Um, oh, you know, another sick thing I could do is just drop, drop a pawn here. You know, let's um, because this is an engine. Let's um, let's just kill off any stupidity and um, any stupid threats, and let's just uh, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna take this stupid thing. And then just threaten to take the night after. Okay, uh, so just a simple threat. Um, that one should I defend against it? I mean, you know, again, I don't really need to. Uh, you know, we can just kill off play. Um, You know, he's going to have absolutely no follow-up. I mean, take, the only thing he can, you know, his pieces aren't very active. Um, the king's not in a, it's a sitting king, but because there's, um, a lot of times sitting kings aren't, um, they aren't safe, but if the opponent can't attack you, then, you know, it actually is safe. You always have, can't, can't just look at the castle in order to determine that. You have to look at uh, where the opponent's forces are to determine whether your king is actually safe or not. Because your king can actually be castle, but very unsafe if the opponent is putting a lot of pressure on, on the castle with uh, pieces. So you mustn't only look at at uh, shapes. You have to look at activity and pressure as well. Okay, so you know, since this is such a weak threat, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that knight. Threaten threaten here. Oh, and he does it without promoting. Okay, well Well, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna drop a pawn. It's fine. Nothing to see here, folks. 
Okay, so he threatens a knight, but, you know, again, it's... He's trying to, he's trying his best to get this guy out, but, you know, we say, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter to us. Uh, another thing we can do is drop the silver here. Um, you know. Uh, let me uh wait. silver book uh, take here take here promote here I'll promote here gold takes Rook drop, and then I, I guess I can interpose with the knight. Hmm. Draw the king to the back rank. Okay, no golds, no defense. And then he can drop, he can also drop the, uh... Oh, another thing I can do after he takes here is take with the king, just to preserve structure. Uh, he has the pawn here, so it's not like he can expose my king to checks. Uh, so, king takes. And then he'll, he'll be forced to, like, drop the rook, like, somewhere over here. And then I guess I could drop drop the knight there maybe. You know, I'm pretty confident um confident in this, so um I think that's what I'm gonna do. But since this is like a weak engine, he might even give up the rook and then do something like this. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, there, and then, and then we can sack the, uh, sack the dragon and drag the king down. Take, takes, takes. Okay, let, let's check it one one more time. Okay. Oh, rook there. Rook there. I could, you know, I could very well just take it. Takes, 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 rook drop. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I could take it. Another thing I could do is drop the knight here. Uh, but then he's gonna take take it like this.
I'm gonna have one golden hat. Takes, 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 arm drop. Uh, another, another option is um, if I don't want to suck the dragon, is to do this one. Uh, he interposes, and then I guess I could just take the either take the lance or or play here. Uh, he's going to get this in. Uh, knight could jump out. Uh, that, that's also possible. It's just a little bit annoying, but it, um, a judge is, that should still be good for me. Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna take this, take this goal. All right, takes, 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 drop. Oh, in that other variation, I also have this. I came over, though. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's mix that. Okay, take... You know, I mean, I I know it's I know it's winning. Unless I like non-promote it and then drop drop the gold here, but I uh, you know, uh, there there is that too. Okay, you know I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to take the gold. Okay, and I'll take, I guess I, I guess I won't promote so I can drop the, uh, either the knight or the, uh, or the gold here. Yeah, I will non-promote. Okay, well. Well, wow, that was this is rather anticlimactic. I can mate by dropping the gold here or here. Take your pick. You know, it it would be cool if this guy is. Um, I want this guy to um, partic since I like participation so much. I think I will uh, chase him toward that goal. Good game. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me catch up on that. Is oh okay. There's bishop five five over after two four pawn. Yeah, I I did uh, I didn't mention that a few times. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I guess we can uh, can analyze this. Oh. Well, uh, Copy this, and I will uh, 
あ、モンタスタディ、go into a public study, and then I'll go into、uh, teaching games here, and I will、uh, paste it. Create chapter. All right. So let's see.、Um, uh, for this one, I am not going to hit this engine thing.、Uh, let's let's just do、um, calculation on our own.、Okay. Maybe、um, if you guys have trouble following my explanations with the arrows, I can show the thing right here. Okay, so、uh, first thing,、um, you should probably just、uh, do this and defend against the uh, promotion. Uh, I'll probably just pull the rook back. I, I, I can either take this pawn or、um, uh, maybe pull the rook back. I, either one of them are good.、Um, okay, so he, but he did that, so th this is a mistake. It's a mistake. So I, I just promote it here. Okay.、Uh, A2 dragon.、Um, okay, here. Okay, so defending against this, this rank. So this is the、uh, variation that I showed. Uh, another、um, another way to do do is、um, it could be this actually doesn't work because this is a I just noticed that this doesn't work because this is a dragon. Usually, if if this was a rook,、um, you know this this would、um, save it with tempo. You just move move the rook somewhere and then、uh, like, uh, pretend that pretend that this is a rook and not a dragon. So. And、the silver comes up, or something, something along those lines, or maybe dropping a pawn here just to cut it off.、Uh, that you see this kind of stuff in aigakari and and side pawn games very often、uh, as a, a way to actively defend.、Uh, but in this case, because this is a dragon, it's different because after this, you can、uh, you can still swing this thing. No, actually, you can't swing it over with tempo. What am I saying? If you do that, then uh, uh, then he can swing swing here. That that wouldn't be good. Let me show that. Okay.、Um, so yeah, you would you'd have to、um, retreat the dragon somewhere.、Uh, let me promote that variation. Uh, and then now, he, now you can do like this, or or this, or even、uh, oh no, he only has one pawn in hand. If he had two pawns in hand, what he could do is drop the pawn here, here,、uh, this goes here, and then this swings across like that. So you, you might notice that、um, the more pawns in hand that you have, the more option attacking options you have.、Uh, so that's、uh, what you keep in mind when you're. You know, playing your middle game and slowly building up your your advantages. Yeah,、uh, having a lot of pawns in hand are, is often a good thing, and something that you can aim for. Ah,、uh, could you hold on for a second? Ah,、oh, okay. All right. All right, so I don't play h6 pawn yet.、Um, I just calmly complete my development, or try to.、Uh, okay, so with this pawn push,、um, sometimes the silver、um, comes up like this. It does stuff like this, or sometimes the knight can come up. So this is also a natural move. Nothing much more to say about that. Okay, so I, I do likewise. And he, he did this, which is、um, just giving up material.、Um, probably what he should do is、uh, continue on with the idea,、uh, like that. 
sometimes even with this um, or yeah I really wish that this um, this interface had a pass move so I could just show stuff I've been trying to get uh, ask Todovsky if he could implement it but um, I don't know hopefully eventually will okay, so here and here sometimes here and or uh, through seven night that would probably be the better way to go at some point maybe even drop the pawn here uh, so anyway um, he played this instead which um, I mentioned was um, was a serious mistake I mentioned this possibility even before um, this was played. Um, and he can't do that uh, because of this move, this dangling pawn. And you notice he no longer has that uh, that idea about cutting my cutting off my dragon. But he does he does still have this, right? Oh wait, um this looks awfully a lot like the game, but I he played two seven silver. For, uh, I mean two eight silver first. Okay, so here um, even now I can uh, I can do the same thing as in the game by doing this. Yeah. So pretty pretty similar to what happened in the game. Okay, so he does this. I do that. He tempos off of the dragon. And then uh, what I showed was this move. Uh, just defending everything and then just leaving him with with this problem. Uh, that was one way to like kill off play. Um, and then the uh, another positive way is to do what I did in the game. Uh, you threaten here and you threaten here so it's a fork. Okay, so he gets something and I get more of something. There, threaten silver. Here. And then um, I mentioned this one, right? This defense. This is Nebari. So this, um, by uh, trying to be more precise about it, you know, it does the same offensive action of attacking the silver but it also cut out the opponent's the opponent's defense here take here and next I threaten uh, threaten mate let me just let me just do a pass move shot here so, yeah. There and then mate. Okay. So you quick escape. And seven three knight. Uh the other thing I could have done was this, but then uh threatening this knight drop, but I mentioned this. See uh, right now his horse is his best piece. Best piece by far on the board. Uh this rook isn't his rook isn't well placed uh, you know the rest of his pieces are kind of just kind of just broken up uh, so that's why I um, that's why I block this guy out I want to keep his best piece out of the game okay so he did that uh, I just took it uh, the other thing I was looking at was this as I mentioned here, um, right here, here, here. Um, okay, I I did mention that uh, if he does here or even here, I, I just I can just take this with tempo, right? Because of the gold here. Yeah. Also uh, here. Uh, and then now there's various things I could do. Um, I guess I could just threaten to do here. Uh, 
also threaten this. So he takes here, I threaten him to capture here. And then my calculation had, uh, well, let, let's calculate the, um, uh, the forcing moves first. So here, uh, here, and then I, I can take this with check. Uh, so that's no good. So here, he goes here. Check, takes, takes. Oh, wait. Is that something? Wait. Check here. There's silver here. A king, king down. Gold here. Uh, this actually looks pretty good when I'm looking at it now. Okay, um, yeah, let me, let me show you what I mean. Let me show you. Sorry, I, I keep drawing these arrows and I forget that I can move the pieces on the board. Okay, so if he does here, this is, this is going to be a mate, yeah. Here, 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 so that, that that's mate. Here, here, and then there's going to be a mate here with one of the one of the generals. Okay. So he can't. So uh, after this check, he's either gonna he's gonna have to capture the knight or move move away. Um, if he does this, I can take this with check. Uh, if the king runs here, then I drop here. Uh, if the king runs here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have enough here. So here takes silver and then um, and I mate somewhere. Okay. So let, let me just show that variation. I guess I guess I can even push here. Okay. Okay, um, the other one is moving the king here. Uh, I just take this with check. Um, if he takes the, the knight, then I have this um, the variation that I showed before. Um, if he interposes like this, um, you know, there's a number of things I can do. Uh, my king right now isn't isn't in some at all. But, you know, I, I don't want the thing to get, I don't want the thing to get dicey. So right now, um, the safe, the safe and sensible thing to do is just capture here. And then, you know, I threaten things like uh, dropping the silver here. That, that's a safe way to win. Um, okay. And so finally, uh, if he takes here, uh, then I guess I can drop here. Uh, if, he take, if he takes it, then 4-7 uh, dragon. So here. Uh, here. King goes down. And you know, I, I kind of would rather play like a bunch of forcing checks if you can actually checkmate, uh, but here it, it doesn't. Um, so this um, this one would save him. Well, where is the variation here? So I will uh, promote that. Yeah, I prefer not not throwing all this stuff in without getting something more. Okay, so right now, as I said, the simplest thing would be like this. And then wait to see what the opponent does. Then then I, I do have that threat, threat again. Uh, if he does like this, then um, 
and it's one and up here 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 and here so that that would be two in a row one two three four five yeah um ticking here next would be two in a row yeah, so I still have to be careful in this one. I'd have to carefully calculate that my, my end game's winning. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, and I guess um, I guess that would be like like a really safe option. You know, just play super solid by doing that. Um, but it might allow him to um, do some net body here. Or do I even have a Zwish and Zog? This check here. Uh, because if I take here immediately, um, he, can, he can do this with Temple. Um, and I'm, I'm still, I am still winning this, but um, Let's see if we can eliminate that possibility by by throwing in this uh, check. We use small tactical shots and calculations to try and uh, eliminate the opponent's play. So here, uh, he takes here, and now, now with the king there, then I can take here, and then I I guess you can still do this. Hmm. Here. Well, you know, there's actually a, a wicked way I can. I see it actually like this wicked way I can win win the rook. I don't know if it's even necessary, but yeah, this. Uh, yeah, and then I, I take here. Uh, the king, king moves here. Okay, well, uh, um, this still looks to be winning, but let, let's see if we can find something even uh, better than that. I mean, wait, here. Takes. Check. Okay. Well, let, let's check the uh, the checking moves first. Yeah, so that would be made. Um, so take him here, take here, he has to take here. And then now we can uh, get this guy into play by pushing here, and that's that's made. So finally the bishop gets into play. Okay, so that, that, that is made, okay? Uh, so the so the variation that I was talking about that can win the rook um, here. Actually, he doesn't. Actually, he doesn't even need to take it though. I I, I guess you can do like that um, because if he takes it, then this is what I was looking at. I mean, he picked this guy. Do you, no, no, no! You don't even you don't even pick this guy. You just made him. There's here or here mates. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you know that's that's really unnecessary because um, this actually looks better. This actually looks a lot better. 
uh, and then maybe I can uh, maybe I can take here yeah just here I'll take those over and I do here here takes up and then make like that yeah okay good okay. so yeah actually um, after all that analysis I guess we can conclude that uh, that you can just grab here okay so anyway let's uh, let's go back to the game okay so a3 dragon here so I don't need to defend I just take here here uh, probably most people would play like this in order to like leave more out there um, I was gonna do this uh, here and then um, how does he continue uh, he only has uh, pawns in hand I guess you can take here or here maybe maybe here makes some sense uh, if I capture it then you know, he might be able to promote here uh, it also might clear more more space up here so taking uh, excuse me taking here does might be like a shobute um, but then it is my move it is my move and I can actually just secure things by doing this hi how are you doing uh, then then I just threaten threaten this and this so here here uh, here here uh, gold here hmm. Uh, this is why you want to calculate before you go, <laughs> go into this kind of stuff because things like this happen. <coughs> huh. You know, I, I guess I could just do this. This looks pretty simple. something like this something like this or um, here. here here and me um, here then here excuse me uh, here and then we go into the same thing they're all um, and if here um, you don't take here you don't take here you you take like this yeah uh, because you you get this yeah that, that's all that's all good Yeah, so th this looks like it wins solidly. Okay. And meanwhile, he doesn't have any serious threats against my king. Okay. okay. All right. So let's see what happened. He did. He did that. I dropped the pawn here. Okay. Desperately trying to get this guy into play. I say no, thank you. Of course, a uh, knight drop is also an option. But we, we did calculate this. And then we end up here. Uh, let me... Uh, you see, this is the other thing that I, I was looking at. You see, here, uh, he drops... He interposes with something, maybe like this. And then I can... Uh, 
What do I do? I guess I can do like a night drop or something like that. Oh, King goes here. You know, I'd rather not use a knight. You know, I think I'd rather not use a knight like that. Um, hmm. Oh, you know, since he dropped the pawn here, I guess I can take here and then threaten to drop the lance here. This kind of situation is like called sem semi fugire. Uh, th that isn't a, a term that's used, but it's when you can't defend by dropping the pawn. And in this case, it's because the pawn is here. So that, that's my own um, my own uh, vocab word that I made up myself. Or if the pawn is like way up here and you can't drop it back here, I call it semi fugire. Um, so let's say he does this, and I can drop here, uh, here, you know, something like this, and uh, my attack kind of goes on. Hmm. I don't know. A promotion. Yeah. If I promote here, though, uh, he does have this uh, silver drop here. The temple. Um, I could also drop the gold here. to prevent that. Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm sure this thing's also winning for me, but uh, it's, let, let's see if we can uh, find something a little bit cleaner. Okay, not not as okay. Let me um, let me try one more thing. I mean, you know, one, one thing I could do is just take this, just simply take here. I mean, that, that's going to win, I think. See, this taking here next is a threat, but it isn't a threat with check, which should which might uh, make things different. Um, maybe I can drop the, the knight here. And if the king, if the king runs here, I do have this check here. Uh, here. 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 And can I check again? Check. Uh, I think I can do this. Uh, 
I have king runs up here. Um, you know, I guess I can. You know, I, I, I guess I can do that and just start in here. Uh, but he has this check. He has this check. So I, I do have to I do have to keep that in mind. The funny thing is because the king is in such a bad position, it might very well still be winning for me, but you, you still you don't want you don't want surprises like that, right? Yeah, I, I suspect that this is still winning, but uh, anyway, let's let's try to um, let's try to um, find something cleaner. Oh, yeah, this is a little bit trickier than I thought. Yeah, uh... Hmm... Okay, um... Uh, let, let's go back a couple moves. Uh, because he, he definitely wouldn't be able to to take that because then I, I can get everything with check. See, th this is out of the question uh, because of this. If here, then th that's what I mean with check. Yeah. And if here, then here with check. So he, he can't take it with the rook. So this is uh, one of those test UGs that um, you keep in mind when you're calculating. Um, well, it's really um, feeling a little bit bad about the Aji now. Uh, what about can he play silver 3-1 after dragon takes knight? Silver 3-1. Okay, I, I will get to your questions. Uh, let me uh, finish this line of thought first. Uh, you know, I could even uh, do something to block the diagonal, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, this um this isn't as, as simple as I, I thought. Uh, so let's let's go here. So I, I thought I was being smart by throwing in this finesse, but um and a lot of times when you're attacking you wanna enter pieces in with tempo. Um maybe it doesn't work here. Uh the really simple thing is this, right? Yeah, this is like stupidly simple. This is this is stupidly simple. Look, look, this thing is even protected. Yeah. So he doesn't have this this would check anymore to hit the the dragon. And then you threaten the silver here and here with me. Yeah, that's uh well, you even threatened. You even threatened to take. No, no, the king runs here. No, no, not that. Yeah, just drop the silver here next. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, so that that wins. Okay. 
So you said, what if um, it's over 3 1 after Dragon Tick? Oh, wait, I, I do have to. Um, you saw this first finesse here? Yeah, so we, we didn't calculate taking it. We have to do that. Here. And now I think I think we have some checks. I kind of forgot what I was looking at. I kind of forgot what I was looking at. Shoot, what was what was I thinking? Okay, this this surely should win. Uh, you threaten here, and and you also threaten this. Um, you know, I think you can just take the token and be safe. I, I don't know how else you're, you're going to make moves. This guy is protecting me. Uh, you know, I, I guess you can just take here. Uh, there's not going to be enough. Not, not going to be where that, that is starting to get a little bit scary, but well, he can take this as a hostage piece. And take that as a hostage piece. But I, I do have enough there, yeah? I guess. Yeah, so there there isn't there isn't quite enough here for him. Yeah, I actually I Actually, I could do this and then just avoid avoid all of that extra checks because if he drops this over here, there's definitely nothing. Yeah, I mean either either way, you know, you, you still have that same threat. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. And of course, if, if here, then here. Yeah. If here, then... Uh, I guess here. And then we end up in that... That's similar to what we uh, calculated, yeah? Oh, wait a minute, I promoted uh, a variation by accident. Shoot, I think I lost my line. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'll try to find it later on. Okay, so um, you said after here, then silver 3-1, yeah? Here? I, th I think you mean 3-9. If that, then I, I believe I can do this.
Well, even even this looks pretty pretty natural and I mean it isn't super fancy, but it looks like it will just work. I, I don't know what else you can do do about it. Is there, is there just a simple mate? I mean, there's there's definitely a, a Yori Suji here. Uh, probably here. You know, I could I could even just take here. That's pretty. That looks pretty straightforward. Um, but let's let's check checking moves. So here, um, here. Uh, if the king, the king was here. Right. Actually, there's more, more checks here, here. Um, I guess can I can I check here? I'll check here. Down and then uh, mate. Um, if he uh, if he does this, then I, I just I just take here. Yeah, yeah, that's that's simple. It's simple. So he has to take the. Uh, he has to take the silver. So let's uh, promote that variation. Instead of uh, uh, well, right now we are trying to find the most forcing line to win. Yeah, so that would be with uh, repeated checks. Here, here. Hey, hi. How, how are you doing? Uh, here. He who I have um, special regard for. <laughs> yeah, you, you read what I wrote, right? Usually that kind of stuff um, bothers me, but sometimes maybe if I think really well of someone, uh, I might forget it or something. So maybe that's you. It actually happened with um, one of my friends. I, um, I actually delivered her some uh, bad news, and she was she's a Christian friend, and she was uh, she and her family were praying for me, and then um, I didn't tell her what had ha resulted it in the mean what had resulted of it in the meantime, and for some reason I swear I told her, but I did not until like about a month ago. And then uh, when she asked about it, I said, wow, I thought I told you. Uh, but then, you know, the funny thing is the people who I gave bad news to and they didn't get back to me, I, you know, I remembered that because it hurt, you know, it kind of hurt. But with her, I, I, you know, I just didn't think about it because, you know, I just held her and her family in, in very high regard. Yeah. So yeah, please remember that. Um, so wow, this I'm just one piece short. I'm just one piece short. You know, if he does this, then he's just gonna block like that. Wow, almost there, almost there. Um. Uh, another check that we have to do is this one, but he he runs here, and again, it's like, you know, wow, no. I mean, uh, you know, 
Very, very frustrating. I mean, I'm sure this thing's still winning, winning for me, but you know, if you're gonna go through all of these forced moves, you, you don't want to play something like that, right? You want it, if you're gonna go through it, you want it to happen, yeah? Okay, so here, so one more um, thing we can calculate is this. I have here then uh, Nitrop, yeah? So he has to block it. Um, Oh, but then we end up with this again. No, not enough. Okay. All right, so it appears there's no... It appears there's no mate after a uh, 3 6 rook. So this, this dropping here... Um, is totally unnecessary and you might as well just take here you know like I mentioned but you can never tell tell that unless you um, you do all of the preliminary calculation first maybe three seven silver instead of rook take silver okay let me finish this thought Okay, so that's that's simple. Okay, um, instead of rook takes silver, three cents. Uh, yes, that also looks like it it works. Yeah, and you don't even give him the rook. Yeah, you're right. Very very simple. You know, simple is good, especially when you're winning. You don't want to give the opponent counter chances by you know. Possibly giving, um, you know, making mistakes and giving them, you know, unexpected counterplay. So yeah, those. This is a good catch, uh, Gabriel. At FS. Okay, Gabriel helps. Yeah, I will mark you down there as your contribution. Okay. So yes, that, that does does work. Okay, so I know we've um, been going through this thing for a really long time. Um, well, you know, I am not a natural talker. And so when uh, I see Noble Roan is here, uh, you know, Noble Roan and Ohai there are streamers, and they're much more natural streamers than I, I am. I'm not, I'm not, I do not, uh, you know, I can be rather taciturn. And usually when um, I'm able to talk, if there's someone like you guys in the chat, then I can do it. But if it's only myself and no one's you know, no one is giving me back and forth, then I find myself uh, in a very s difficult situation. So I wanted to thank each and every one of you for being here. Well, my voice is getting like super, um, uh, super, uh, a bit sore. You can, I can tell that you can tell that I'm not really used to doing this kind of um, like lengthy amounts of talking. Um, but I will try to get through this. Um, there's not too much more to go through, and I said I would, um, you know, be doing a consultation game with you guys, but you know, because of my voice, I I think I'm gonna have to tap out <laughs> after that, and then you know maybe come to it another day or maybe later in the day. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's uh, try to uh, get through this. Uh, I, so is that the uh, is that the uh, move played in the game? Uh, no. Um, wow. I uh, I'm trying to find the main line, and I kind of lost it. Sh 
shoot. I uh, lost the main line. Where is it? Okay, well, it is this, right? Oh, no, no, no. This is not the main line. I sacked the rook. Okay. Right. And then he dropped here. Okay, this, so this is um, his last chance to, uh, this is Nebari no Naite. It's a move that doesn't Nebari. So instead of that, uh, what I was calculating was uh, he has to drop yeah, it's uh, almost a no no goals, no defense situation. Uh, King is on the uh, back rank. He can run no farther back. The edge of the board is a natural barrier. That's why a lot of mates end up uh, with the king on the back rank or in the corner. Uh, but here, uh, he, still, he still does have a, a rook in hand, so it allows him to drop it uh, in order to defend. So I was expecting him to drop on one of these three squares, maybe like here. Uh, by the way, he cannot he cannot do that because of this, right? Yeah, that's simple. So I was expecting this. After which he can he can nebari a bit. Um, and you know I could simply take here, and that should be good. Um, but if I wanted to. Uh, if I wanted to keep the um, like play solid, maybe I, I was, this is what I calculated, and this is my intentions. You know, just to keep the uh, attacking forces into play. I mean, in I mean to keep it secured, um, because if he takes here, maybe I can. Uh, you know, he, you know, looking at this now, he can still nebari, though. Yeah? Yeah, he can still nebari. This is, that's very, very annoying. Uh, if he takes here, then uh, I can throw in this check. Uh, he's going to have to interpose. Actually, this is pretty severe because he has to interpose with the gold. Um, if he goes here, I mean, this is mate, right? And if he goes here, this is mate. So he's going to have to interpose with the gold. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. No, no, no. I'm, I'm completely blind. The, the, the gold is hanging. The gold is hanging. No, he's he's not gonna play this stupid move here. He's just gonna, isn't he just gonna take the gold? Well, won't you just take the gold like this? I mean, yeah. So again, this is um, you know, not as not as clean as I wanted. Oh, that's that's very very annoying. I mean, I, I guess I can do that. I mean, this bishop isn't doing a thing. Uh, shoot! Wow, I I just overlooked that. I just overlooked that. I mean, hopefully I would have seen here, seen here that this is being attacked. I mean, at this juncture, but during my initial calculations, I just overlooked. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I I guess this is forced, yeah. Um Wow, this is kind of not what I wanted. Yeah, this is this is not not what I wanted. I mean, I'm I'm still winning, but
Hmm. Oh, wow, that that's that's really junk. Yeah, this is on the body. The body. So I put my code here, NBR, to mark this thing. Um. So yeah, I I guess I can conclude that maybe this was a mistake. Uh, this is definitely this is just this is definitely a blunder. Wow. Um. So I think I was a bit luck. I was kind of lucky there. Wow. So yeah, I shoot. I I thought I played pretty well. Is five five night after rook drop defending. Oh yes, um actually Oh yes, you're you're right. You're right. Um I think. Uh, let me uh yeah. Uh Nabadi and five five oh, okay, so uh we have the same problem if he takes here. Uh, what do we play? Um, do you want me to mark this as your suggestion? <laughs> you know, gotta take the good with the bad. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he, um, Maybe promote on six, six, seven. Ah, oh, but if we ah, oh. okay, yeah, that's actually Tsumero with a drop here and uh, and there. Wow. Oh, very good. Yeah, this is actually um. Yeah, that was uh, I believe that was a good catch. It at least looks way better than what I did. Yeah, I I rather like that. Yes, you're right. Just simply this. Wow. Okay, good. Very good. Okay. Yeah, this this makes a lot of sense. Okay, thank you. All right. So, um, four six rook after the night drop. You know, did, did I calculate that? Fix uh, here. Uh, no, here. Nope. Uh, let me. Let me uh, promote this here. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, more than a body. Yes, you're right. Babe. This thing isn't over yet. I believe this this thing should just win, win simply. Um, the reason why is if he drops here, I think. I believe you can just take here. Uh, you should we should be winning the semi here? Um, uh, so here, and then I don't know, just There's something I guess one one simple way is to just do this. I mean this is just this is just win and then pick up the rook and pick up the silver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so five 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 nine, this is uh TGS. Tegatai Seme. TGS, that's a code for it.
Yep, good, good catch. Okay. So I think that's that's it for this. Um, did you guys have any any questions uh, before I before I go? You don't. Okay, good. All right. Anyone else? Yeah. All right. So anyway, I hope this was kind of educational for for you. Um, it was definitely, um, you know, this this setting was on uh, level one, and I guess relatively speaking, it was you know it was pretty easy, but. Um, you know, because uh, the thing is a computer, a lot of times you sometimes get paranoid because you don't want, like, stupid things to happen. But I think you have to just be uh, confident in your calculations. And, you know, if you think something is good, just, just go out and play it. Um, as you can see from that, that analysis towards the end, um, you know, I, I could have possibly... Um, I could probably, I would probably have seen this 5-5 knight, but, um, you know, to have to find it after not initially calculating it, sometimes um, it can throw people off, you know. And I'm sure that, you know, it's pretty much happens to everyone when they're, you know, faced with something kind of unexpected and very unpleasant. But, yeah, you have to be uh, confident in your in your calculations and if you think something is right you know at some point you know you just have to go for it you can't sometimes can't uh, calculate everything to the very end even though a lot of times you see me calculating a lot eventually if it isn't immediate mate you have to make some kind of evaluation and then decide whether or not to go with it okay so anyway I hope that made sense and that uh, that was enjoyable for you. I actually had a lot of fun. I, you know, streaming is uh, doesn't come naturally to me, and uh, I do struggle with it. But whenever there's people around, it just makes it that that much easier because I have uh, you know people to to talk to. So you guys being here, um, you might not know it, but it helps me out. Uh, it helps me out a great deal too. So yeah, my my voice is going. So I will have to save that uh, consultation game for another day. But I hope uh, whenever I'm able to do that, that you know you guys will will be there and can uh, join me for that. And all of you guys can just um, you know backseat uh, drive all you want. We will do that with a uh, with a guest account, so we're not running afoul of uh, Lee Shogi rules. And then we'll just you know, let the computer have it. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me. Uh, and thanks once again for, uh, to, oh, hi there for the, uh, the second, um, uh, the second sub in a row that he did. Um, if any el one else of you, else uh, in the audience or people listening to the VOD want to, um, so found this helpful and want to uh, support the stream uh, you can always uh, you can click on this uh, Streamlabs link and then that's actually the um, my favorite way to get donations because uh, you know the company doesn't take anything from the top but uh, no matter what you do whether it's subs or just uh, doing subs or doing it through Streamlabs, you know, I'm always, I was grateful. Again, uh, these things are a blessing to me and it's always, um, it's always welcome and, you know, never ever expected. I'm just happy that you guys are here and I can serve you guys. Uh, anyway, have a great day and I'll see you guys all later. Uh, take care. Bye.